This video shows you how to start a new CHVAC project and how to use default values. Click the New Project button in the toolbar. After you've done one or more projects, you may want to use this dialog to copy one of your own projects into the new project. But since this example is our first project, we'll instead select the blank project icon. Click the OK button to create our new blank project. The new project has now been created and the general project data window has been opened. Notice that the caption of the program's main window says Untitled, which means we have not yet saved the project. You should always save the project as soon as you start a new one. Doing so makes it so you can recover your data if needed. Click the Save Project button in the main Windows toolbar. We'll name this project file My Test Project. Click the Save button to save the project. Remember that saving the project right away is important in order to ensure that your project data can be recovered if needed. The inputs on the first three tabs of General Project Data lets you enter some information about the project, the client, and your company. The Design and More Design tabs have inputs that apply to the whole project. Click the Design tab. Click the More Design tab. CHVAC has several default inputs that you can enter on one window and then either accept or override the default on another window. For example, here's where you enter the safety factors inputs for the room loads for the whole project. You may override these inputs on the air handler data window and on the room data window. Now let's enter 5% safety factors for sensible, latent, and heating modes. Now let's open the air handler data window and take a look at the safety factor inputs. Click the General tab. We can see the default value of 5 that we entered for all three inputs on the general project data window. The text 0 dash greater than means 0 goes to the value shown to the right. That means if you leave the input value at 0, the value in the gray box will be used. Now let's override only the heating safety factor and set it to 10%. Now let's look at the safety factor inputs on the room data window. Click the miscellaneous tab. For this room, let's enter an override value of 7% for the sensible gain safety factor. The safety factors that will be used for the current room are sensible, 7%, latent, 5%, heating, 10%. Thanks for watching.